Hello everyone, my name is John and today I'm going to be trying to help you guys fix the frozen screen render inside Sony Vegas. So for those normal subs who are on the channel, uh, you know this is not one of my normal videos, but I'm going to address that at the end of the video because I really want to talk about this because this is a problem that I encountered and I really, really want to try to help people fix it. So the way I'm going to do this is there's about four techniques that everybody else knows and had deals with it. But the problem that I encountered that nobody else seemed to talk about, um, I'm going to be talking about that at the beginning of the video. And it seems kind of simple, but it took me about 24 hours to realize what the problem was. So we're going to do that and then I'll address the other problems like that most people talk about at the end of the video. So first off, we're going to talk about this. So to start off, when you're inside Sony Vegas, which I have Sony Vegas 15, but this this could happen to anybody. So I do horror game let's plays. So what I do is I have um, I have my own I have a track for my video of the game, a track for my face cam, and a couple different audio tracks. So this is the really big part. Like I said, several other people talked about all other kinds of problems, but they didn't mention that the way you record something is very important because on this is uh, this is just an example track one of the tracks i was recording for a game it, i guess it recorded slightly differently the game itself crashed but it, the video was fine the video played smooth the sound the audio everything from that clip was fine but vegas some reason for some reason crashed mid stop but it's completely it's it's unnoticeable it's unnoticeable because anybody familiar with the frozen frame effect knows that it could stop anywhere like that the number could stop anywhere so it's hard to distinguish between a broken clip and a, the computer just not being able to render stuff so let's say if i were to render this entire thing right here all right so it would render but it would get to 21 percent every single time it would get to 21 percent and another clip it would get to 84 percent so because these two numbers were different i kind of just thought it was Vegas just being weird but actually in fact it was actually the clip so this is my big thing to you guys check to make sure that your clip like if, when you're going back on gameplay make sure and to try to try to remember if the game messed up for some reason there if you remember that it kind of glitched out but it wasn't big enough to where you noticed it if that is a problem go and remove that part of the clip and retry your render and if that fixes it you had what I had. Nobody else was talking about this, that there could be a possible error inside your game, a game clip. Now, because maybe it's because it's obvious, but to me it wasn't because everybody else was pointing out to the fact that it was something completely different. So, to recap, make sure that you didn't have a small glitch in your game and it just messed up that part of the video. Because I tried for 24 hours to fix this problem and I didn't even know it was an actual problem. So, try to see if that's the issue. Because for me, that's what it was. Now, that's out of the way. That's the really big one that I really wanted to make a video over. Uh, I'm going to show you some other things that other people talk about. So, if you go into Options and you go into Preferences, some this is something everybody talk about. So, if you hit Preferences, normally nothing's going to pop up. But if you are in Windows and you hit Shift and go to Preference, there will be an extra tab that pops up called Internal. Inside Internal, you're going to want to look for your multi render type in core and you guys will find um enable multi-core rendering make sure that's at the false uh, that's a really really big one that people talk about because if it's set if your computer is not strong enough and you have multi-core rendering on it will crash your computer i had it to where it was crashing sony vegas so that's another big problem that people talk about but that's very common so i'm definitely not the first to actually address that but that is another that's another fix that you guys can do also when you go into preferences Go into video, This is, you don't have to hit shift for this. Uh, depending on how much your RAM can take on your computer, you're gonna wanna lower the dynamic RAM preview to about zero, and then your maximum number of running threads to about two. Now this is just something somebody else recommended to me. I didn't see any noticeable differences. As a matter of fact, it kinda slowed it down for me personally, so do this one on your own will. It's not gonna hurt your computer doing it, so you guys could try that out. But the last one that you guys need to try out is when you open up your task manager, you're gonna go over to you're gonna go over to Vegas. Uh, now you're gonna hit uh, the side, uh, the side drop down. Go to the actual program itself. You're gonna go into go to details, and then you're gonna be in here inside details. So you'll find Zogas, uh, Vegas one uh, one five zero is mine because I'm making an older edition, but. This problem does happen for everything, at least uh, the actual frozen rendering thing, it's still not fixed. 
and the actual problem that I addressed at the beginning of the video, it, that'll happen anywhere. So make sure you're recording properly. But this is something that you guys can do. You go to a set affinity and you could drop a CPU. That'll help you render out stuff a lot quicker. I did notice that actually helped out quite a bit, though that's not a problem for me. So that's just something else you can do. But there you go, guys. There are four tips to help you guys figure this out. The, the last three, everybody's talked about them. I'm just trying to reiterate it. But the first one, make sure that if you are a Let's Player, that you are recording properly. Because if you're not recording properly, or if there's a glitch in your game, it's going to be a big headache. Because my computer is not the fastest, so it takes a while for it to render out. So, it, it, it took me about 24 hours to realize that it wasn't my computer, that it was the actual clip. So make sure that you actually, <laughs> your game doesn't mess up, and then you're screwed. Because, you know, you, you just... You got the bad end of the stick, so yeah. But yeah, guys. All right, so for all the other people who just came for the fix, that was a fix. I'm about to address my subs who are recently here, though, so thank you for dropping by. Hope you had fun. But for all my subs, sorry, guys. I know this was a completely different video, but I really, really want to talk about this because if you guys remember, Pectator, Pec Pectator, fucking whatever, that game, I could not get that game up. And then the end of um, Deep Veer, Deep Veer Part 2, I couldn't get it up either because I was having problems with Eclipse. And this is the only two problems I've ever had. And I thought my computer was shitting itself. But it wasn't. It was just the Eclipse. So, sorry. I really, really just feel like I needed to make this video. So, I hope you guys completely under... I hope you understand. I was... <laughs> completely understand. I hope you understand. I will get back to making normal videos. Do not worry about that. But for now, I will catch you guys in the next one. I forgot what outro I'm doing. You know, you know, actually, hold on. We haven't done this outro in a long time. You know what's all right? We'll, we'll do this one, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs>